As many of us probably already know, Microsoft will stop supporting Windows 10 on October 14 of this year. What does this mean? There will be no more security updates, so your computer could be more exposed to the risk of being hacked, but there is an opportunity to continue to receive security updates, and in this video you will learn how. There will also be no new features, no help from Microsoft and no driver updates or bug fixes. But the most important thing, which few people talk about, is that it will not be possible to reinstall Windows 10 if you want to keep using it. So now I'll show you what what you need to do right now to continue using Windows 10. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in. And let's start with security updates. Security updates are quite an important function because if hackers find vulnerabilities in the security of the Windows 10 system, and this is one of the most popular OS in the world, because of which it is a priority for finding vulnerabilities, then Microsoft will no longer release an update to fix these vulnerabilities, and your computer will be at risk. Some may ask whether an antivirus can replace security updates. The answer is unfortunately no, because an antivirus will protect you from viruses, but not from vulnerabilities in the system. So, how do you get security updates after October 14? Microsoft finally realized that there are still many users staying with Windows 10 and don't want to switch to Windows 11. That's why they made three options for getting updates after October 14. Two of these options are free and one is paid, and for all three options you need to log into your Microsoft account on your computer. Unfortunately, Microsoft set such a condition for us. If you have not yet logged into your Microsoft account, then it is very easy to do this. Right click on Start, then select Settings, here choose Accounts, and click on Sign in with a Microsoft account instead. Now you can sign in into your Microsoft account or create a new account if you don't have. Let's start with two free methods of getting security updates. I will explain each of them first and then show you how to use them. On your computer right click on start, then select settings. Here at the top you can see points that can be collected by using Microsoft services. For example if you use the Edge browser, Bing search or the Microsoft store, Points are added automatically when you use these services actively. To receive updates you need 1000 points. The second method is simpler. Microsoft will give you free security updates if you use Windows Backup. If you still don't have this feature enabled, then go to Settings again. After this click on Accounts. And here in the left pane you can see Windows Backup. Click on it and turn on this switch, sync settings. And the last option is paid. You can just pay $30 to get security updates for one year after October 14. To use any of these options, right click on start, then select settings, and here go to update and security. Here on the right, at the end of the month, and now is July, if your computer has all the latest updates for Windows 10, then you will see a new tab Enroll in security updates, and below there will be a blue button Enroll now. Click on it and a window will appear with all three ways to get security updates for Windows 10. Just choose the best one for you. If you don't have the latest updates, just click on the Check for updates button and install them. But what you should do right now is create an installation flash drive from the Microsoft website, because after October 14 it will no longer be possible to download the installation file from the Microsoft website. As with previous version of Windows, Microsoft will remove the ability to download the installation file and create an installation flash drive with Windows 10 after October 14. Sooner or late you will need to fix or reinstall Windows 10 because because of issues like a blue screen, viruses, or your computer simply not starting. If you have been using Windows for some time, you understand what I'm talking about. It cannot work forever. Then you will have pay to a specialist who has this installation flash drive or search the internet for an installation file 
and you cannot be sure it does not contain a virus or malware. Therefore, I strongly recommend making an installation flash drive now. Let's do it together. Go to Google and in search type Media Creation Tool Windows 10. Then open first Microsoft website and on Microsoft website scroll down to Create Windows 10 Installation Media and click on Download Now. Then click Save. After that connect our flash drive which has at least 8 GB to the computer and open Media Creation Tool. In Media Creation Tool click Accept. Then select Create Installation Media and click Next. Here choose language, edition and other and select next again. Here select USB flash drive, click on next. Please note that uh, all files from your flash drive will be deleted. If you agree, click next again. After that we wait for the process to finish and our flash drive is ready. Hide it in a safe place until you need it. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, Please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel. I truly appreciate it. If you'd like to support as well, you can do so via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.